flagship carnival celebration. We yes. Look at the beauty. Hey everybody, and welcome to our video. We are going to be talking about most of the upcharge dining venues on Carnival Celebration. So if you're gonna be cruising on Carnival Celebration or Mardi Gras in the near future. We think you'll find this uh, helpful. This is us boarding uh, early December. Yep, so you'll see nice Santa hat on the Emerald Bistro sign, which is our first upcharge that we started off with. Oh, there we are, first step on board. We love December cruises. There she is, the celebration. Uh, what do you call that? Emblem? Uh, Picture frame. Yeah, that's really cool. And they got the little inaugural coins there. You can see me, but we love cruising in December because you get to see all the Christmas decorations. First stop, Emerald, and went ahead for a little breakfast brunch. So you can see all the items that we tried and the prices. So not a bad combo. Yeah, yeah, we spent a total of $14. Yeah. So uh, Bananas Foster, we're gonna get a breakfast bow boy and beignets. I mean, you gotta go just for the beignets, they're crazy. Yeah, and the lattes for us were included because we had the drink package, but we're fairly certain that they were probably around like four or five dollars. Yeah, you don't. With refills, you do pay for each cup, so just a heads up for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they'll push the juices. Those are that's an upcharge. Quite the upcharge. Um, yeah. So here's the first item: banana Foster crepe. Highly, highly recommend. It's very sweet. So, as you can see, Andrea's approving. Andrea approved, and um, our fancy lattes. Oh. So yeah, the latte, I recommend not getting the sweet because it'll cut down the sweet of this uh, beignet. Or, well, the beignets are sweet, but the bananas foster is so sweet. Definitely split it. But our whole spread here was the breakfast cool boy sandwich. And we also split Beignets Foster, and we split the Beignets. And they had the sandwich cut in half. Look at that. And those chips. I remember those chips right there. Oh, those were fantastic. But I believe here I was saying how nicely these little soft pillows were. Oh, they're warm. They're covered in powdered sugar. Just watch the powdered sugar. Oh. Do not breathe in or breathe out while taking a bite. Yeah, takes practice. Look, oh, there's the chip. Got like a little, what was it, a little cheese or parmesan. We love these so much the first time. So hopefully we can get them several times. Oh, and watch the sugar on your blue uh, shirt. It's snowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> these are so good. Holy cow. Oh. And then it comes I'm with. I'm dumping the. Oh. Yeah, it comes with a chocolate and a strawberry sauce. Both sauces. Oh. Very good. Yeah, overall, this is kind of what we're going to rate. Uh, yeah, definitely give it a five. There are a couple other items on the menu that we did not get a chance to try, but we did on um, Mardi Gras. We tried the shrimp and grits which was also pretty good, just a little on the spicier side and kind of weird for us to have shrimp for lunch for breakfast. Yep. All right, next up, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, $96 upcharge for two people. So it's not, it's not cheap, um, but if you do go on embarkation day, you do each get a free bottle of wine and we hear on formal night too. You go to the steakhouse, you each get a free bottle of wine. So that helps with the $96. But, um, great venue here on the show. They're very fancy. Um, looks very nice to give you this little uh, chef. Special. Heck, yeah, a little chef bonus. You said the first time, move over, guys. Yeah. 
shrimp cocktail. So they're bigger than in the dining room. Uh, very, very fantastic. Good. I had the mushroom risotto, uh, which was also very good. Caesar um, salad. And I wasn't that. so big on that, but. So this was better on Carnival Magic, but it was still good here. Oh, look at that. I'm not a meat eater as much as Andy, so I went with the double lobster. And the steak is yeah. very uh, large. I normally get the filet and lobster, this time I got the ribeye. Um, looked very, very good. I ordered it medium. Sadly, it was a bit of a miss. It was uh, mid well. Um, not a lot of pink. So but that, that garlic clove was amazing. That was. Oh, and then this uh, potato with all the fixings was really good. Butter, sour cream, bacon. All it's missing is a little cheddar. Onion rings. Yeah. Those are good. But yeah, the cheesecake. We split this because by this time we were so full. Yeah. It was like. But we at least had to try it. And we also just got a regular coffee with it as well to kind of cut down. Yeah, we give it about four stars, we think. Now, Rudy Seagrill. Yeah, oh, we Rudy's. were so excited about this one. This was, um, I mean, this was the fourth sailing of Celebration. Maybe they didn't have everything all squared away, but uh, we had high hopes, yeah, as Andrew said. Yeah, they had a nice Christmas tree, though. The plates were cool. And the plates were cool, and the silverware. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, silverware was very cool, and the glasses. Yep. So we did a little chair with water. Uh, as you see here, uh, $96 of charge for two people. So same price as Steakhouse. Kind of do a little wine, included with the chairs package. Yep. And that was a little kind of seafoody sushi. Tuna tartar? Yeah, I think our tuna tartar, that's it. And I had the mac and cheese, uh, which the mac and cheese actually was pretty good. And I'm very picky with my mac and cheese. Oh, and I had the mussels, so uh, those were real good. And they gave us a bonus little uh, appetizer. It was like the uh, lobster ravioli. Yep. Yeah. Had a friend join us, Eric. Yeah. I think we were Party saying on the how che cheesy this was here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that was my lobster bisque. That, that was kind of another miss i was, i gave it a thumbs up but it, it was just missing something yeah. and we we're trying the calamari that um eric had, the calamari. eric had and it just was a miss as well and then the entree here so i had high hopes for this lobster with the crab uh but the lobster was totally uh overdone so it it should have that just from the look of this right here it should have been great but it was not sadly I mean, that looks great. It was just way over. And I had the crab cakes and that little blob was just kind of all hollandaise sauce. So what you're looking at, that's pretty much it. Just that yeah. one little crab cake right there that, again, yeah. just kind of a mess. It wasn't that good. Yep, you could see from the face. <laughs> No, oh, the dessert was this good. was the dessert. It's very similar to uh, the what is that? The bitter and blanc. Oh right. That's right. in the main dining room. I had a better. chocolate something. Eric had key lime pie. The desserts were decent. So overall, though, we were just a little disappointed in uh, Rudy's. Now again, it was a fourth sailing. Maybe it'll be better. I don't have everything scored away. Um, the seafood place shouldn't like, kill the lobster where it's tough and... But the designing and plating yeah. was pretty cool. We did enjoy that. Yep, desserts look good. Um, so yeah, we're going to give it just like two and a half stars just because the main star is seafood and the seafood was a, was a mess. Yeah. Uh, but they probably haven't squared away because people rave about it. Yep. Now... Ah, bonsai teppanyaki. Little bonsai teppanyaki with some fun stuff. Oh, what was that drink? Uh, geisha? Yeah, that was a geisha geisha. 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 We kept going back and forth. And that's why she's laughing. <laughs> what it, how it was the sand. Yeah, the drinks. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That first that first sip always gets me. So um, they gave me a little something extra, pork, pork belly and something. They do a lot of the same jokes that on all the chefs. So this uh, is not as much as the steakhouse. It was like eighty-two dollars. Yeah. And yeah, so they do a lot of the same things uh, as they do in all the ships. So there's this, this joke, I'm sure this one's going around a lot. Um, but our guy here, you can see, was really entertaining. Yeah. It all depends who you sit with, too. Some some people you can have some kind of real duds with, and others they actually get into the show. So. They do give me the miso soup, which I like. There's the old heart, heartbeat and the <laughs> fried rice. Yeah, they give you the miso soup and the ginger salad here. And I always love that ginger dressing, very good. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, our table wasn't, I mean, some people weren't really into yeah. it. They were just there for the food. They were just there for the food. So, well, yeah. we had a good time. But yeah, we had a good time. Sure, baby. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, the lobster from Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Bikini Bottom. I had the filet and lobster. Um, this lobster was also a bit over. So, but otherwise, I think I would have given this. Uh, no, I think we did give it five stars. Yep. Yeah. I just had the lobster once again. Not really a meat eater. And the only lobster on this entire cruise that was perfect was actually, oddly enough, main dining room <laughs> on formal night. It was like perfect. Oh, but don't forget to get the yum yum oh, sauce. Oh, those sauces. Yeah, we asked for yum yum sauce. Oh, little extra steak there. The filet was so good. Andrea had shrimp, it looked like. Yep. Yeah, we just love this. I mean, how can you go wrong? Don't mind if I do, a little mushroom for me. Mm. Oh no, I might have been trying a piece of steak there. Oh yeah, you were trying a piece of filet. Oh, oh and they give you a, dessert. a sampling of desserts. Yes. A pistachio and ice cream, pistachio ice cream. Yeah, and this was kind of like stuff. a little uh, cleansing yep. ring. So yeah. Yeah, we give this five stars. Definitely five, five stars. Time. Oh, creme brulee. Yeah, how can you go wrong? As Andrew is going to show you, <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a, a head nod, yes. Yeah, so it's uh, $82 for lunch and then $89 for dinner. Yeah. Not much of a difference. And it's the same for amount two of people. food. So. so here's our bonus section, uh, Chi Bang. So Bang! This is on the new Carnival Ships. It is free the first time and they're going to test on Mardi Gras. If it's you go a Chibang. second time, they'll charge you like eight dollars or six dollars it's not yeah. a lot it's worth it the apps look at them yeah these spring rolls were fantastic and these nachos so definitely i would get the spring rolls every single time oh yeah and the apps are actually better than the entrance yeah um i got the pot stickers and then i also got the chicken spring rolls because they're both fantastic all right and it's like nine o'clock we're hungry let's go Oh, this is like fun. If you ever come to Chi Bang, do not miss the chicken spring rolls. 
These are fantastic. They're crunchy. They got flavorful filled chicken. <laughs> Fantastic. And then you dip it in soy. The pot stickers. Don't share them. Eh, they're just pot stickers, but these are fantastic. Seriously, the best spring rolls I've ever had. I don't know what they do. They're very, very crunchy. And the flavor is just crazy. Chi bang, four and a half stars. Almost five. Only because the apps are way better than the entrees. And our final bonus section, uh, Cucina del Capitano. That's free currently. So uh, some ships, not the Mardi Gras and Celebration, charge $36 for mm -hmm. two. That's not bad. Yeah. But that Nona meatball right there, very good. Minestrone soup was good. And I had a uh, tuna tartar, which I actually had gotten twice, I believe. Oh. Look, the chicken parmesan, very good. Better than at the main dining room. Yeah. Carbonara, I believe you have. Yep. Carbonara, also very good. Oh, there was a little tight yep. quarters. A little thumbs up. Oh, and their desserts are good. Tiramisu. Get coffee with berries to go with Tiramisu. it. Tiramisu. Yeah, and I'm not sure what you had. I can't quite make that out. It was a... Um, uh, it was a little ice cream, apple pie, a la mode. And if you wonder if they do the shows, they do. This yes, is the last night. so this is the they last the night. They still do the uh, carnival sailing goodbye show. Yeah, we think we give Kachina at least four, four stars. Yeah. So, real good. Felt. Yeah, so to recap here, yeah, Emeralds, definitely do not miss it. We've never tried it for dinner, but you've got to get the beignets and the bananas foster. So good. The steakhouse, for me, you know, I could do without. She likes the seafood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the steak, I like the surf and turf. It's not the best thing. Filet and lobster. Sea grill. Uh, we'll try it again on another ship because, you know, as we said, it was the fourth sailing, so we don't want to be a one and done. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go ahead and give them another shot. They weren't firing on all cylinders, but yeah. if they were, this would have been fantastic. Look at it. <laughs> Teppanyaki, you can't really, can't go without. It's always a hit. Yeah. Good food. Uh, you you leave nice and full and <laughs> satisfied and have a show. Yeah. Oh, and then also bonsai sushi attached to this. The sushi is real good right. too. Uh, we didn't get to try that on this cruise, but we have before. So that's it. That's all the places we did not get to try. Um, Pig and Anchor. Pig and Anchor. That's an upcharge. Yep. Um, but, you know, we tried that for lunch. It's really good. So hopefully you found this informative. Definitely uh, give us a thumbs up for the video and subscribe. And leave any comments if you have been to any of these upcharges and what was your experience like. Yeah, and which one was your favorite? Uh, and if you know of anyone going on Celebration or Mardi Gras, share this video with them. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.